So this one, this one's kind of sad. Dear Matt, I prayed, but you still ain't helping. I left my cell, my email, and my Twitter handle at the bottom. I sent two tweets back in autumn. You must not have got them. There probably was a problem at the server farm or something. Sometimes I write usernames too sloppy when I type them. But anyways, fuck it. What's been up, man? How your cat's been? I've been shopping for a cat, too. I'm about to be a fur dad. If I have a male one, guess what I'm going to call him? I'm going to name him Eric. I heard about your toxic mama, too. I'm sorry. I had a friend whose folks cut him off over some religious garbage. I know you probably get this a lot, but I watch you every day. I even watched the full-length episode where you debated Ray. I like the one you did with the Kona, too. That shit was sad. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back. Just to pray, truly yours, your biggest fan, this is Dan. <laughs> and another one came in. Dear Matt, you still ain't helped or wrote. I hope you really care. I ain't mad. I just think it's fucked up you don't answer prayers. If you didn't want to talk to me at the Free Thought Library, you didn't have to. But you could have wrote a tweet for at Hitchfan92. He's a fresh atheist, man. He's only six weeks deconverted. We waited in the Austin sun for you for five hours and you just didn't show. That's pretty shitty, man. You're like his fucking idol. He wants to be just like you. He knows fallacies better than I do. I ain't that mad, though. I just don't like being lied to. Remember when you said you're better than God? You said if I prayed to you, you'd answer back? See, I'm just like you in a way. I never knew life outside church either. I used to always sing things Jesus songs and was a true believer. I can relate to what you're saying on AXP. So when I have a shitty day, I drift away and put it on. Cause I don't really got shit else to do that helps with shit so I ain't need facts. I even got a tattoo of Dawkins face on my ass. <laughs> Sometimes I post on Lakewood Church's Facebook to see how much it trolls. It's like adrenaline. Their rage is like butter on my roll. See, everything you say is real and I respect you because you tell it. My girlfriend's pissed because AXP is on 24-7. But she don't pray like I pray to you, Matt. No one does. She don't know what it was like for people growing up. You gotta answer me, man. I'll be the biggest disciple you ever lose. Sincerely yours, Dan. P.S. We should be on the show together, too. <laughs> Dear Mr. I'm too good to debate a priest up again. This will be the last prayer I ever send your ass. It's been two postcards and still no word. I don't deserve it. I know you got my last two cards. I wrote the addresses on them perfect. So this is the last prayer I'm sending you. I hope you get it. I'm on the Discord right now. I'm yelling, there is no God at Catholics. Hey, Matt, my car runs on faith. You dare me to drive? You know the book by Jay Peterson called 12 Rules for Life about that guy who should have stood up with his shoulders back but didn't? Then Jordan Peterson told him about it and told him that he should do it? That's kind of how this is. You could have written me that drivel. Now it's too late. I've tweeted to a thousand pastors now. I'm drowsy. And all I wanted was an answered prayer or call. I hope you know I'd never hang up on you if you called. I loved you, Matt. You could have been my savior. Think about it. You ruined it now, I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. And when you dream, I hope you get callers defending slavery and you scream about it. I hope all six phone lines go down and you can't talk to any believers. See, Matt, shut up, faith head, I'm trying to talk. Hey, Matt, that, that's some Christian screaming on my headphones. But I didn't call his fallacy, I just told him his God's fake. See, I ain't like you, because if he never learns, he'll dig in harder, and then he'll never pray to you. Well, gotta go, I'm almost out of room on this card now. Oh shit, I forgot. How am I supposed to mail this shit out? <laughs> Dear Dan, I meant to write to you sooner, but I just been busy. You said you're gonna be a fur daddy. Tell me more about your kitty. Look, I'm really flattered you'd call your kitty that, and here's an autograph for Hitchfan92. I wrote it on a GP cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you at the studio. I must have missed you. Don't think I did that shit intentionally just to dish you. But what's the shit you said about you like to troll some theists? I don't support that kind of shit. You should take a breather. You got some issues, Dan. I think you need perspective to help your ass from trolling folks with all of your invectives. So what's this shit about us on the show together? That's a lot of shit that happens before somebody does the show. We have to be convinced of just how good it might go. Start with Discord discussions and grow. I hope you get this letter. I hope it reaches you in time. Before you hurt the cause, I think you'll be doing fine. If you relax a little, I'm glad I inspire you, Dan. Why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do trolling shit. 
I seen this one shit on Reddit a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and told this guy his god was fake. He didn't try and reason, instead just called him names. The fallacy fallacy and ad hominem games bring the movement shame. Come to think of it, his name was, it was you, Dan. Damn.